I'm Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we came to the town of St. Benai after sneaking in from Wagon, only to learn that Anise, who we were looking for, went to the next point because, you know, the Oracle Knights were here. In this episode, we're going to try and find her. Well, away we go. I guess we'll just kind of waltz out the front door. Quick, hide. It's the Oracle Knights. Right. Oh, I guess she was raised by the Liger. Zzz. I'll never forgive them. What about that Bone Master Guardian they said was hanging around? She appears to have made contact with the Malkuth military. But Malkuth is saying it's classified and is refusing to provide any useful information. If I hadn't let that necromancer get the better of me, Anis would have never gotten away. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I told you. I don't like this guy. Who I'm not even saying. What the hell? You re. He, he just floated here in the chair. Are you by any chance related to Marluxia, the pretty pink rose of Organization 13? I'm sorry, the pretty pink flower of Organization 13. How is one so beautiful as myself a reaper and not a rose? Because you kill people? There's no point in dwelling on the past. What do we do now, Sick? Hey. No Wait, one cares, Dis. Gabe and St. Fina. What? Your wound still hasn't healed. The necromancer almost killed you. Why don't you take a break? And besides, the only way for them to cross the border is through Kaisur. Oh. If we stay here and antagonize the Malkuth military, it could spark a diplomatic incident. Hey! Stop ignoring me! Well, we would like to, but you keep talking. So next comes deciding how to deal with them at Kaisur. I mean, I was trying to say we we're trying to ignore him, but he won't stop talking. Let's return to the Tartarus for now and consider matters there. Inform the troops! First Division, withdraw! Yes, sir! Well, crud. More like we're sick and tired of your voice and your arrogance. And your strange floating chairs. This is the first time I've seen the six god generals. Who are the six god generals? Did we not have this explained last time? The six executive officers of the Oracle Knights. But there were only five of them. There's Largo the Black Lion, Dis the Reaper, Sink the Tempest, Arietta the Wild. Greta the Quick, and looks like the one missing was Ash the Bloody. Huh. Your Van's immediate subordinates. They are? Master Vans? If the six god generals are taking action, then the one who's trying to cause a war is Van. Mm. Oh. The six god generals side with the Grand Maestro. Moe's is likely giving orders to Van. Grand Maestro Moe's would never do something like this. My mission for the Grand Maestro is top secret, so I can't divulge any details. However, I assure you, it is one of peace. Wait a minute. Master Van wouldn't try to cause a war either. It's just the sort of thing my brother might do. What are you saying? What about you, huh? How do we know you're not a spy working for that Moe's guy? Please, settle down. He's right. Now's not the time to be worried about Van or Moe's. Yeah. Now we have to get past the six god generals and prevent this war. You're right. I'm sorry. Huh. I'm not accepting the apology of anyone who badmouths Master Van. <sighs> Shut up, Luke. Well, now that that's over, let's head for Kite Sword, shall we? You're unbelievable. <laughs> he has a point. The Oracle Knight's objective. The Oracle Knights sure are acting like they want to start a war. It couldn't be by the Grand Maester's order. He only desires peace. Are you still trying to blame Master Van for this? Well, ah, damn it. Calm down, both of you. The important thing is we're escorting the Fallen Master Ion to Batical to avert a war. 
and the Oracle Knights are after him. Exactly. It may not be clear who's ultimately responsible, but one thing is certain. Oracle Knights will continue to attack until we reach Batacle. <sighs> All I want is to go home. To be fair, the Oracle Knights could be acting on their own volition, not really asking either Van or Moe's for orders. I'm sorry to trouble you, but wouldn't it be, uh, would it be alright if we stopped here to rest? Huh? Yeah, your face does look pale again. I'm sorry. You sure are a bother, you know? Hey guys, let's go to the inn. My, he has a kind side after all. Really? He does? I'm not seeing it. That's the good thing about Luke. And he's equally rude and demanding to both servants and those above him. Sh shut up! You can't exactly argue, Luke. It's true. Everyone knows it who's been seeing this Let's Player play this game. Yeah, let's stay, I guess. By the way, Ion, where did they take you when they abducted you from the Tartarus? To the Sephiroth. The, the what? <laughs> oh god, no! Sephiroth. The Sephiroth are the world's ten most powerful foam slots. He's also a horrible enemy from Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII, though I've never played Final Fantasy VII. They're the planet's vital points, places where memory particles and kind of planetary fuel concentrate, and phonons gather easily. I, I knew that. No, you didn't. You don't have to launch into an explanation like I'm ignorant. But you are ignorant. What did they do with the Sephiroth? I can't say. It's confidential to the Order. You always say that. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Shut up, Luke. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Jade, how are you feeling? Is your body okay? I mean, with that phone slot seal and all? My strength is somewhat diminished. My body's phone slots have been sealed after all. You're so considerate, Master. Uh, no, he isn't. No, I'm not. It'd just be a pain if this old man keeled over on us, that's all. Yeah, that's oh, what I thought. You're blushing. Oh, maybe he actually does care. I am not. Is it going to be difficult to undo completely? The phone slot seal is like a lock with a code that changes periodically. I'm unlocking it little by little, but it looks like it will take a bit more time. Of course, my abilities are on a whole different level to begin with. Even after a partial drop, I don't imagine I'll have any trouble keeping up with the rest of you. Man, you're obnoxious. My apologies. It's my nature to be honest. I like this guy. A lot. Well then, let's leave Ion in the hands of the great and powerful Colonel while we get some sleep. Fair enough. That exhaustion has to be more than just a weak constitution. Could Ion be the same as Luke? What? I don't get the connection there. Whew, finally, a decent bed to sleep in. <laughs> Did the cold ground get to you? No way. Well, okay, a little. But I'll take a bed any day. There's no need to worry about thieves or monsters here either. Yeah. L uh, and if they did come, they're no problem for us. Between Malkuth Snekromancer, a Lucarian Sergeant of the Oracle Knights, and Leader of L Order of Lorelei, and the son of Duke Kim Lasker, you have to be a fool not to run away. And of course we have you, Guy. Me? No, I'm just a servant, that's all. <laughs> just a servant indeed. Well, time to get going. To that place we're supposed to be heading to. The K place. Uh, what now? Man, what am I going to do? I was heading for... Axeruth, uh, but the bridge on the road is broken. Are you headed south too? You can't use the bridge, so be careful. Oh well, I guess I'll head for Endgave. See ya. Oh? What kind of girl? 
Let's head for Kite, sir, to meet up with Anis. Where are you guys going to finally go? Uh, where are you finally going to get me home? Well, with Rotella Bridge out, we'll have to go and grab a ship at Kite Sur anyway. So we'll really be losing, uh, not be losing any time this way. Too bad the bridge to Ikrutz is out too. Now we'll have to cross the Fubar, uh, Fubaris River by ourselves. Yes, the Fubaris River is pretty calm this time of year, and the water shouldn't be too high either. It's actually the shortest path to Kaiser, depending on how you look at it. You might actually say we're saving time. But then Arise had to cross the river too, right? You think she was okay? She's fine. She's Anise. There's no need to worry about Anise, huh? Well, anyway, let's get going. Just who is this Anise anyway? Hmm. Um, by the way, you guys can't see this, but on my bottom screen now, I have the world map, so this should probably be easier to get around. I'm assuming the river is this way? Melodists. So, Tyr, you're not a scorer? Not exactly. Scorers are members of the Order of Lorelei who can use the seventh phonon. I use phonic hymns, so I'm a melodist. A melodist? Not too many of those these days, are there? Not lately, no. And they usually serve a supporting role, anyway. I like melodists, though. There's something pleasant and soothing about their songs. Granted, some songs are used to attack people, but they also sing healing songs. And I like your songs a lot, here. They somehow feel very nostalgic. Ah, oh, thank you. Huh. Well, now that you mention it, I guess she does have a good voice. Shame about the personality, though. St stop glaring at me! Well, don't say stupid crap. It's your fault, really. I want to go this way-ish. I don't want to fight that thing. It's too weak, I think. I guess I'll fight this. This looks new. Never mind, that was a really old enemy. In fact, I beat it literally in two hits. Okay, so obviously we can't cross this bridge. So, where do we cross the river then? Uh, not that way, I guess. Hmm. Quite the conundrum. Oh, wait, is it right there? Rami obtained. Weeds. Tataru grass. Weeds again. Rami. Weeds again. Weeds again. Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Okay, I think that's where we give up on that. Uh, how the hell do we get across this river? I mean, this should be it, right? They said we had to cross a river. Hmm. Oh, dang it, my laptop's dying. Hang on one second, guys. There we go, I'm back. Hmm. Let's see, there's Engave, there's St. Benai. Where the heck do we cross this river? Oh, dang it. Hmm. No, 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 leave me alone, monster. Don't have time to deal with you. Wait, is this where we need to go? I hope so. Looks important. Yes! It is important, thank God. Fubras River. Hard to read letters, possibly. The Alaskan territory is just ahead. Once we cross here, right? Yeah. There's a city called Kaitsura after crossing the Fubras River. That whole area is a demilitarized zone. Hmm. Man, I can't wait to get back. I'm sick of all this stuff. Well, stop being a dick. Luke, don't take things out on you. 
I agree. I'm sorry I dragged you into this, Luke. Well, it sounds like Luke's done whining. Shall we be going? Snap. What do you mean whining? You whine like every second of the day, Luke. It's ridiculous. Hey, stop ignoring me. Ugh. Well, everything here around here seems ridiculously weak, so... Damn it. Anyway, let's open this chest. Apple gel. Well, that's good. Luke, wait just a moment. Okay. Is it a great leader? Luke! I've been watching you fight. It appears you don't have a firm grasp on proper phonon use. Hooray, tutorial phonon. Or phonon tutorial. Using phonons is what phonists do. I don't need to worry about that. Well, we didn't get to the fancy schmancy phone on course. Ugh. Don't make fun of Master Van. He didn't teach me that stuff because I don't need it. <sighs> Whatever the case, you don't know how to use phone ons in battle, correct? In that case, I'd like you to learn so you can fight more efficiently. Why the hell should I bother? Luke, this man is a professional. If you want to survive, you should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> yeah, professional killer. Exactly. Indeed, I am. There's a monster. I'll teach you during a real battle. The phone slot seal has already reduced my abilities. I don't want any further dead weight. Snap. Listen to the explanation of FOF? Yes. I've only done it by accident. I would very much like to actually do it. Okay. Some fields of phonons have no color, while others are the color of their element. It depends on the level of the element. Until the phonons reach a certain level, the field of phonons will be colorless. Okay. Okay. So green squiggly is no color. And then white. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Cool. I will. easy enough okay so ooh magic lens uh, apart from that there was really nothing over here um what about down this way 
Hmm? Nope, nothing of value. Uh, uh oh. Oh hey, is that a new enemy? First, 500 gold. Next, Frogman. Polywiggle and Ribbit. Well, you know what to do. First, start a battle with identifying this. Ribbit, 140... Excuse me, 1,480 health. Physical attack is 75, physical defense is 80, magical attack is 82, magical defense is 90, it resists water, and is apparently weak to what I'm assuming is fire. Wait, did we ever get Polywiggles in with the uh, magic ones? Well, better safe than sorry. 880, 63 physical attack, 65 physical defense, six, uh, 78 magical attack and magical defense, also weak to fire, resistant to water. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? That one didn't have anything on it? Okay. Jade learned 80 skill magic guard. Curious I am. Magic guard. Y and... Y and down on the joystick reduces the effect of enemy magical attacks. Hmm. And there's another polywiggle, which means I think I probably just looped. Okay, now we go through here. What the heck are those? Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Ha ha! Aww. Gel base, wonder what that is. Oh, and Guy learned Magic Guard, too. Uh, Apple Gel. I should probably heal up. There we go. Everyone's all nice and healed, I think. Let's move forward. Hmm. Um, that is a giant turtle. Watch out for water. For a river that took out a bridge, this doesn't look all that special. Well, the water's probably receded a far bit since then. Think of how it would look after a rainstorm. How would I know what that looks like? Oh, right. Sorry. Anyway, river or otherwise, water can be dangerous, so you better be careful. You sure talk about that a lot. The dangers of the sea and all. Yes, I've heard that too... Uh, heard? Interesting choice of words. With the Doth and the Podimian continent, I'd think... Th ah, uh, damn it. Well, yes, that's true. Anyway, Guy, are you from Batacool? Hmm? No, but I do like the water, though. I've even s uh, damn it. Wow, you can do anything, can't you? Just listen to me when I tell you to be careful, okay? Don't try and fool around with nature. Would you all stop staring at me? Uh, might as well fight the turtle. Die, turtle! Oh, wait. Don't die yet, turtle. Tortoise. Uh, oh, we've almost got it. Uh, let's see. 1,600 HP, 86 physical attack, 102 physical defense, magic attack is 72, magical defense is 96, weakness is fire, but it's resistant to physical, so Luke is kind of pointless in this battle. Now I guess we'll fight the frog because he's in the way. Actually, no, he isn't. With that, I think we'll end this episode here, and the next one will continue through this area.